and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video, guys. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 10 most overpowered power-up cards that I believe you need right now. So, I made these video, like this specific video, like a week or two ago, going over them. But a lot has changed in the last week or two with cards that have dropped, especially with like the new wave of overpowered cards. So, I revamped my list, I reordered them, I re ranked them, and I rethought them. And I think I have the top 10 you guys need, which I think this list is very important, as I could tell by how well the video did, because clearly, power ups are one of the most vital things. And Madden this year because of abilities, um, X factors, training, just how big training has become in Madden Ultimate Team. So I feel like this is very important because I know a lot of people will get like anxious about whether or not they should power up certain guys because they don't know if they're gonna be long term options. So I rank this list based on how powerful the card is, how much of a long term option they'll be, and how useful they are and what abilities they can get. So it's not so much about the player and the stats, it's more about what you can do with that player and the stats. And some of them are just plain out good in general. So it's happened to be in this list now, guys. If you are new to the channel, go down below, smack the like button. Let's get this video to 250 likes. Smack the sub button. We're all, we're so close to 7K. All you guys gotta do is push me over. I'm like 200 subs away. So smack the sub button. Also turn on the notify bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video, boys. Now let's get into this video. So first on the list, uh, this guy originally was a little higher on my list prior to this list. Like on the first list, he was a lot higher. I did some thinking. I did some talking. And I'm pretty sure I, mo I moved him down to 10 now just for the reasoning of I don't want to say that he's not good he's amazing but long term if you guys understand what I'm trying to say long term he's not as good as a certain player that's on this list also so let's go down to the guy if you guys don't really know who he is he's a he's probably the best card in the game right now one of the best cards in the game it's Von Miller now Von Miller originally was like top three last list but I thought about it right and Von Miller might be one of the best defensive cards in the game right now, but long term, I'd rather have another guy. So I'm putting him at 10 because yes, he's still overpowered. If you power him up right now, you'll get a lot of use out of him, but long term, he won't be as useful or price efficient as this other guy that I think is going to get a lot more upgrades and will be more useful come the bulk of the season. So that, so Von Miller is the first one. He's good abilities, gets edge threat, power specialist. He can get um, reach elite unstoppable force there's so many things you can get now next on the list i hope this guy's on the redskins for his power up because i really do like this card ken houston again makes this list not just because of his abilities because right now he is the fastest safety in the game and if you power him up to his 87 i believe you can get him to 88 he is an overpowered strong safety at least for a budget team because ken houston obviously is the best safety in the game still in my opinion right here so i still feel like his power card's got to be up there i don't think he's a long-term option like other cards but he's got to be up in the top 10 because he's definitely so useful right now. Now, the next guy is new to this list. He was not here last time because he was not a card in the game just yet. It's going to be a nice cornerback that I think is probably the best cornerback in the game right now. Jeez, how far down is his power up? I, I'm definitely losing him with the amount of Raider cards I see right now. Okay, there we go. I couldn't find him before. Willie Brown. Now, Willie Brown right now is probably the best cornerback in the game. I don't know his stats. He's got like 89 man, like 88 zone, 88 play rec, 88 press. If you power, 88, yeah. If you power up this Willie Brown almost all the way, he's gonna be pretty fast and have really good coverage around the board. Now, if you put him into his full card, right? Because this doesn't just apply to just having power up cards, it also could be the full card. Is with his full card, he's gonna have above 90 man. If you put Cam like locked on, he's gonna have above 90 man, above 90 zone, above 90 play rec, and above 90 press with a high speed that alone it makes him the best cornerback in the whole game with hitting every threshold he's completely overpowered i haven't picked him up yet because i'm broke i'm trying to wait for the market to turn a little bit up so i could sell some players off and waiting for weekend league rewards obviously once this weekend league's up i need to start saving coins i might have to start playing solo battles but willie brown is way way overpowered and if you guys can afford him i definitely recommend you guys get him now next on the list is another new guy to this list that wasn't here last week he is a quarterback and if you guys don't already know He's one of the glitchiest quarterbacks in the game right now, or the glitchiest quarterback in the game. Let's see, where is he? Steve Young. So Steve Young's always been like a fan favorite of mine, like for, for me as a fan. I've always been a, f a fan of Steve Young and Madden's ever since Madden 13. 
He was always like that cool mobile quarterback that was also accurate. Nice lefty. He was kind of like a he was like a poor man's Vic every time. Now this card right here, when he's fully powered up, all the way, he is way better than Patrick Mahomes. Like if you compare stats, he's way better than Patrick Mahomes. Not to mention he can get escape artists. If you don't know what escape artist is. It is like, you know how there's evasive and arm bar for running backs? And we're like, that's crazy. That's glitchy. We need those. That's a, that's what escape artist is for quarterbacks. I don't even want to see Michael Vick with escape artist. Escape artist pretty much means you become Forrest Gump in the backfield. So like Steve, Steve Young activates escape artist and you can't tackle him. He literally can just outrun everyone in the pocket. So like, you know, when you're in the pocket and you're running with the ball like this and you're like really kind of slow and you don't hit your speed until you get past line of scrimmage. Well, escape artist makes you like Sonic the Hedgehog in the backfield, Forrest Gump and can't be tackled now if you put that on with the brick i think it's probably like brick wall he can't get sacked on the first sack on the first tackle in the backfield so you could literally use escape artist and if you get touched you just break it it's overpowered steve young is definitely up there now next in the list a guy i love again back to the raiders there's a few raiders on here so we're gonna be going back here a lot marcus allen marcus allen although there is a better running back now in the game that i'm going to talk to you guys in a little bit marcus allen right now is the only affordable running back in the game if that makes any sense to you so the other running back on this list that's gonna I'm gonna mention that I think is more overpowered than him isn't affordable by any means. He's not your common card that you can even get. So, and well, there is a way, but I will explain that. But that is like 10 weeks away. So Marcus Allen for now is still the best running back in the game that you can afford. So remember, Marcus Allen can still be powered up. I just had 570 yards with him in a weekly game, by the way, just before I made this video, and I lost. But the point is, I had 570 yards and like seven touchdowns with him. He is the most overpowered card. You put Marcus Allen with freight train and evasive, and that's it. That's all you need. But that's about it for Marcus Allen. I've talked about him enough on this channel. Next guy on this list is my favorite tight end in the game. Still overpowered in my opinion. George Kittle, once I can find him. He's not that expensive. George Kittle powered up. I can actually show you stats that I have him. George Kittle has an 82 speed, 81 spec catch, 80 run block, 86 catch. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. He makes his catches. Don't even worry about that. Typically with tight ends, you just have like mismatches where you get them open and like in routes or out routes or flats. So like you don't really need to worry about his on his like on coverage kind of stats. But what matters is his run block and his catching and his speed. That's all I care about. And he's tall. Trust me. You don't. You can't go wrong with George Kittle. I think he's the best tight end in the game right now. Besides maybe like a fully powered up Dave Casper, Kellen Winslow. But that's too expensive. Next on this list is the reason that I didn't put Bob Miller higher. Is because this guy right here, which I know is going to be all the way at the bottom. So I'm just scroll down now. This guy right here, Khalil Mack. Might not be better than Von Miller. Because as you can see, Von Miller is better than this Khalil Mack. But if you guys already know how Madden works. Von Miller just came out. So you won't see another Von Miller card for quite a while. You probably won't see one to like November, December, like a real good Von Miller card. So what that means is that Khalil Mack was a base elite. And if you know anything about base elites, they typically get upgrades pretty quickly, especially a lot of them already have. So I, my, my, my prediction is that Von Miller won't get an upgrade to probably like late November, maybe December. Khalil Mack should get one in October. He should get, he always gets a most fear card. I believe he will get a most fear card. He is known as one of the most fearful players in the NFL. Like, you're scared to go against him. So I think he'll get a most feared card. So for that reason, I'd rather have Khalil Mack coming in at number four on this list because I know that he'll be a long-term option because I can get Khalil Mack this power up, power him up at the base elite, have him at like an 89, and then when the most feared card comes up, it's like a 93, 94, probably have him powered up to 94, 95. So it's pretty simple. You have like a 95, 94 outside linebacker with Lawrence Taylor on the other side in comparison to just Von Miller for the next few months. Von Miller is better for now, but I'd rather have Von Miller long-term. I mean, I'd rather have Khalil Mack long-term, which is why... I opt for Mac over Von Miller. Now, next on this list is a guy really pretty much in the same category as Hello Mac. He doesn't do it. He's not as flashy when you're playing this game, but you do notice him a lot. He does close up a lot of holes. He does a lot of important things that no one seems to notice. I noticed it, Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald right here coming in at number three. I have him fully powered up. You guys can see how much of a beast this card is right here. He's got 75 speed, 82 excel, 90 strength, 82 tackling, 89 play rec, 87 block shedding, 89 power movement, 86 finesse move. If you put pass rusher on him, I believe one of, I think his power move or finesse move goes up. So he breaks the threshold on that. His block shed comes pretty close to breaking if you max it out. His play rec breaks it, depending on what you put on him. His speed's high, his strength is high. You can put reach elite on him. You put unstoppable force, power special. There's so much you can do with this card. This card is insane. And not to mention Aaron Donald's end game. That is my favorite type of power ups. The ones that you can just call end game. Like Aaron Donald, I put him at right end. I powered him up. I don't have to worry about selling him. Just put him there. I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the year. That's what Lawrence Taylor is. Same thing. Now, speaking of Lawrence Taylor, going over to the next guy on this list is Mr. Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor should be one, but he has to be replaced for the time being because there is someone slightly more overpowered. Lawrence Taylor right here. I almost just bit on him. Lawrence Taylor compared to my Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor fully powered up with unstoppable force, reach elite, 
I believe power specialist and edge threat has 85 speed, 88 excel, 86 strength, 86 tackling, 85 play rank, 86 block shed, 90 power move, 88 finesse move. If you power this guy up with chems, like I have him locked down just for now, when I put power, uh, pass rush or run stuff on him, this card's gonna be more overpowered. He's an end game. I believe we'll probably get his next card around the harvest promo somewhere in Thanksgiving ish, Christmas ish. So he'll be locked down there. So him and Aaron Donald are end game all year. Him, Aaron Donald, Lawrence Taylor, and Max. So that is why I believe I put those guys in the top five, just because you can have those cards literally all year. And George Kittle. Those cards you can have all year and don't worry about it because tight ends you could use up to three. So no, no concern there. Now for the last guy on this list. Going over to the Raiders. This is the newest addition to the list. He just dropped yesterday. You probably saw my video already. This card right here is a glitch if you can afford him. Now, I'll tell you guys the downsides of not getting the full card, but I will tell you the upsides of keeping just the power up card. Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson is the glitchiest running back in this game. If you look at my Marcus Allen, right? He has 88 speed. He has 84 trucking and 84 break tackling. That's break tackle. That's good, right? That's like amazing, right? This Bo Jackson, fully powered up with the full card gets a i believe a 90 speed or 89 but all i know is that he's fast no i think he gets 90 he is faster than marcus allen he has better acceleration than marcus allen he has better elusiveness than marcus allen he has better trucking than marcus allen his trucking is an 89 and his brake tackling is an 88 if you put the proper chems on him oh and his spin move and i think his juke also are better this card blows away marcus allen everywhere across the board now it gets even worse right because this bow jackson fully powered up and get evasive he can get Bruiser, and he can get whatever the hell you want on him at the third one, I don't really know. And he can get Freight Train. If you put Freight Train, Bruiser, Evasive, and like in the zone on this card, it's, it's, it's GG, it's game over. Best card in the game. Now, again, the only issue with this card is that his full Legend card is a limited time card that goes for 1.8 million coins. So there is a way to counter this. If you play all the, lim all the, all the Mutt 10 promo solos, yeah, that's on the solo challenge then go to it now you have, to, you have three days to play them every weekend they're limited times you play every one for the next 10 weeks you, have, you get to pick one free out of a fantasy pack so you could potentially wait 10 weeks and get this bo jackson fully powered up and you'll be fine but if you don't want to go that route another route that you can go for the time being is just power up this bo jackson all the way probably cost like 100k in training he powers up to an 88 overall i believe and when he power or 88 or 87 and he has an 89 speed I believe this Bo Jackson is an 88 or 89 speed, so he's going to be faster than the Marcus Allen no matter what. He's better trucking, like even if you just power him up without getting the full card, he's going to be a lot cheaper. He's going to be better than Marcus Allen no matter what. The only difference is that Marcus Allen can still get evasive. Bo Jackson without his full card can't get evasive. So he can get, he can't get Bruiser, he can't get other things, but he can't get evasive. So if evasive is important to you, which is very important to me, it's pretty much like the Matrix. If you want evasive, you have to stick with Marcus Allen, but for the time being, you could just power Bo Jackson to his 87 or 88, whatever he goes up to. And then just hold that until 10 weeks or just use that for now in general if you're not a big chem guy anyways just get bo get get, get bo jackson he's better than mark sound stock so guys that's about it just to recap the list it goes at number 10 von miller no number nine ken houston number eight willie brown number seven steve young number six mark sound number five george kittle number four cologne mack number three aaron donald number two lawrence taylor and number one bo jackson guys so that is about it for the video i hope this does help you guys a lot with knowing what power ups to use i think it's all the top 10 by far i don't think it's if I missed anyone that you think is in contest, like that contest this list, comment down below who I missed, but I think this is pretty solid. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to drop a sub. Let's get us to 7K within the next few days. Also, comment down below, like I said, if I missed anyone, and let's get 250 likes in the video. And boys, turn the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.